But I kind of want to get the elephant out of the room in this elef episode once again. Like we did in previous episodes. Because I'm kind of tired of talking about the sign-stealing stuff. I think most Michigan fans are. I think a lot of college football fans out there in general are. Because, once again, without this great scheme they supposedly had. By the way, I see a lot of you floating around ideas out there that the whole team was in on this and somehow even J.J. McCarthy was privy to it. None of that has been proven, and it doesn't even seem to matter. Because Michigan goes on the road and beats a top-10 team with the number one run defense in the country, puts 270, I believe it was, yards of rushing on the number one run defense in the country and grinds out a win. We're going to talk about the positives and all that. There are some negatives, of course, also. There's a lot of back and forth right now on J.J.'s performance in this game and what it means, or really lack of a performance, really. But I wanted to start off the show with, like I said, kind of the elephant in the room when it comes to the Michigan football program. And I kind of see this out there currently in our larger media outlets. The narrative kind of seems like it's dying down, at least a little bit for now. But it definitely should be. Because whatever competitive advantage you think or you thought that Michigan would have had in this game is gone. Connor Stallions isn't there anymore. The sign-stealing gimmick is up. And Michigan didn't even have their head coach, and they went on the road against the top 10 team. Think of Penn State, whatever you want. They also put up a decent fight against OSU on the road. I would say this game was pretty similar in some ways to the OSU victory over Penn State. But the narrative kind of needs to and is starting to die down. Now, like I mentioned in previous episodes, if Jim Harbaugh knows or knew, and even if he doesn't, the program should be punished. And just to touch lightly on the SignGate scandal for a minute, I think a lot of you should already know where I'm at with this. The program should be punished. I don't completely disagree with the Harbaugh suspension, by the way. I think the way it was handed down in the process of that was very petty. Pretty disgusting, pretty biased. There's an obvious Tony, there's an obvious sign that Tony Petiti has been pushed into this by the rest of the Big Ten ADs and especially coaches into thinking that this was a player safety issue. Miss me with that. One, there was a, this is a dangerous sport in general. And two, sign stealing is a major part of the game. It came out a couple of weeks ago that other teams had Michigan signs. So should we cry for Michigan's player safety when other teams know the plays that they're about to run? Everyone knows what everyone's about to run on any given day. And hell, speaking of getting into this game, Michigan presented multiple fronts with seven, seven offensive linemen and two tight ends. They basically telegraphed the fact that they were going to run. And they ran for 32 times in a row, by the way, to close out this game. And Penn State couldn't do a damn thing about it. So I'm kind of done with this Michigan cheated, that's the only reason why they've improved since 2020 narrative. No, it turns out they gutted, they cleaned house, they gutted the staff, they hired a damn good, probably the best in the country, one of the best in the world in any sport, uh, strength and conditioning coaches in Ben Herbert, they hired Mike McDonald, they hired Mike Hart. They hired new offensive coordinators, new quarterback coaches. They've hired countless other support staff. And they've gone on to completely change the culture around the program. One guy doing a nefarious thing, stealing signs at the lower level. And I know he was talking to the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator on the sidelines. That was his job. He was Michigan's sign stealer. And he was doing it in illegal ways and the program should be punished. But that one guy doesn't amount to that much bigger of a difference than all the things I previously listed. And we're seeing the proof of that now. 